Queen Fury, Harry and Meghan don't own royal. Sussex's despicable statement slammed. Queen Elizabeth II banned Prince Harry and Meghan Markle working under the term Sussex Royal after the Sussexes announced they would step down as senior members of the royal family. Queen Elizabeth II has called Prince Harry and Meghan Markle back to the UK for a final engagement at the annual Commonwealth Service at Westminster Abbey on March 9. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will officially step down as senior royals on March 31 after announcing they plan to be financially independent but they faced a setback when the monarch said they can't operate under the term royal. Despite agreeing to not use the trademark, they hit out at Her Majesty for not having trademark over the term royal which sparked furious backlash. Speaking on his talk radio show, royal expert Dan Wooden addressed the row. He said, I found their statement last week despicable and disgusting. I thought their rhetoric against the Queen was totally unacceptable. Show some respect to this incredible woman. You don't talk about her not owning the rights to royal internationally because you know what? She does own it. She might not own it by the letter of the law but there's no woman more royal than Queen Elizabeth II. Trying to say that we should be forced into spending money, pound 20 million a year to protect them threatening us. One of the reasons they used was because Meghan was an independent woman. I mean, it's irrelevant. Ed Sheeran can pay for his own security, Taylor Swift can, Jay-Z and Beyonce can, Harry and Meghan can do the same. Guest Lizzie Cundy added, One thing, the royal family is not for sale. This is a royal institution of over a thousand years. Meghan and Harry explained they could have carried on using their current brand name, Sussex Royal, abroad, as there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas. In their statement, Meghan and Harry said, while there is precedent for other titled members of the royal family to seek employment outside of the institution, for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, a 12-month review period has been put in place. While there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex Royal or any iteration of the word royal in any territory, either within the UK or otherwise, when the transition occurs spring 2020. The royals seemed to be remarking once again they don't entirely agree with the terms of the agreement seeing them entirely stepping back from royal duties. The statement read, the preference of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was to continue to represent and support Her Majesty the Queen albeit in a more limited capacity, while not drawing on the sovereign grant. It added, per the agreement, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex understand that they are required to step back from royal duties and not undertake representative duties on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. 